Hello everyone, I'm Fan of Wheels and we're here with another MCS episode. Today we're on Breeze Island 2, and I'm using one of my old resource packs today because it's pretty cool. I don't know how many used it in the wild. It's pretty cool. I already released it, so please no comments saying where is the resource pack. Um, I have released it before in one of my SMP videos, so if you really want it, it's there somewhere in my SMP videos. Uh, it should be pretty easy to find. Uh, which is why I'm not going to link in the description. It's just one of my SMP videos. I believe it's like the second or third, maybe. Um, but yes, yeah, one thing you should know before asking anything. Um, in fact, actually, after this video, um, in fact, when you see this upload, I'm going to have um, all my resource packs in the About section. Uh, so by this, I mean, you know, when you go to your channel, there's the About section, uh, that little tab, you know. Um, hopefully, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put all my resource packs there so I don't have to tell people the exact video which I released it on. Um, but yeah, now we're done with that. Today I have a topic that I'm going to go quite in-depth into because it's kind of an interesting topic. And although it's kind of ge a general topic, um, I still kind of want to do it anyway and just narrow it down to a few different things that I really did want to talk about. So, uh, first of all, the topic is, if I were a parent, this meaning, of course, what would I do if I was a parent? How would I raise my kids? Stuff like that. Uh, stuff of that sort. You know, of course... Oh my god. <laughs> I could have sworn I was gonna die right there. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't die. That's so that's that's awesome. All right, but um, yeah. Now of course I'm I'm not even close to becoming a parent anytime soon at all. At least not in the near future. Um, and by this I mean a few years, or quite a few years actually. <laughs> um, but still there is some things that I would change in terms of the way I was raised as a kid. Uh, so yes, I will be going over a few things. Um, a few different things, like how I was raised and what different things I would change myself. Um, and a really important question, would I teach my kids to play Minecraft or to do YouTube? Um, obviously, I love doing YouTube. It's awesome. It's an awesome pastime, ex especially when it's summer and you have, like, nothing to do. It's awesome to do YouTube in the summertime. Like, I literally love... <laughs> it kind of sounds weird. Um, it kind of sounds like a, like I really want to stay home the whole day, but uh, doing daily uploads and you know, having people watch your video is such a fun thing to do. And those who don't do YouTube might not even know what this feeling is, but you know, especially once you start getting really into it, YouTube really does become something really nice. But it also has its disadvantages, uh, which is why I'm in kind of a confusion whether I would teach my kids how to do YouTube and play Minecraft, or whether I or I shouldn't. Uh, but first of all. I was raised as a kid, um, I, I was kind of hidden from the real world, by this I mean I wasn't really taught everything at a young age, um, you know, my parents often sugarcoated many things, and by this I mean just kind of overall, um, not exposing what it true, what the true meaning of things, I would say, but instead, uh, saying something that sounds a little bit less intimidating, maybe, um, and... I was kind of raised that way, and if you meet me in real life, you probably won't think that of me. <clears throat> like, to be honest, uh, if you really start meeting me IRL, uh, I mean, you you probably think my parents kind of raised me in a, in like, more, um, like, less of a, what would I call it? Less, like, more ex exposing, exposing myself to the real world, I guess? Um, yeah, but I, I was in that sort of fashion. And there's a few things I disagree with this. I just simply don't agree that a person should be raised uh, being hidden from the true things in the real world. Now, now, of course, I don't mean that you should just simply freaking go up to a baby and start talking to him about how the reproductive system works or anything. Obviously, that's not the way to go, but um, what I do think should be a, ha a, be a thing is uh, tell, tell, tell your children stuff at a decently early age, not necessarily at a really young age, just at an age where you think is necessary to, or a little bit earlier than that, maybe, because, you know, although there is some, oh crap, although there is some things that probably people shouldn't know that early in life, um, I still do not believe in censoring that from people's lives, and I think that, you know, sometimes people should have the right to understand what is truly happening, um, that's just my opinion, though. I just don't really believe in sugarcoating everything so that later on in life you'll be believing something that's not true. You know, like, hey, I was I was uh, carried to my house by a a, a swan or, or what? What even is the animal? I don't even remember the oh, I, I was <laughs> I was brought home by a crane. 
Um, and I was dropped off. And that means I can fly, right? And then you just jump off a building and realize you can't fly. Um, you know, that, that's an over-exaggeration. Way too much of an over-exaggeration. But um, still, I, I simply... My, my point here is I just don't believe in that sort of um, style of raising people. So if I were a parent, I would most likely expose my children to what really is happening on in the world and so you know they could be more wise i guess um by knowing stuff that's happening around them um but not going to too like too obsessed with it and like start cursing at them each day or teaching them how to curse um <clears throat> now of course like people p people really early start to curse at least in this generation um and I don't know. I don't know if I uh, would teach my pe my children how to, or I don't even know if I would. Nah. Actually, you know what? No, I I probably wouldn't to be honest. Um just not at least not just cursing overall. Um although I do curse quite often and I don't have anything against cursing. Of course, it's disrespectful and it's not nice to just go up to someone and you know start um talking to them like that. <clears throat> I'm going to deathmatch, so I need to concentrate here because I honestly want to win this. I want to win this so badly. You guys don't even know how badly I want to win this. Um, but now onto the final question. Would I teach my kids how to play video games? Most likely I would. Uh, because in my opinion, this creates a little bond between um, you know, the parents and the kids. Um, because they have... It, it's really cool. To be honest, when I was growing up, I really wished that my parents were good at video games. Because they could help me, like, do stuff. And, you know, stuff and stuff. Um, <laughs> but I remember, as a kid, playing uh, the Paper Mario with Thousand Year Door. Uh, if, if, if any of you had that game on the GameCube, then congrats. It was an awesome game. Um, but I, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to play that so much. Uh, but I had to search up tutorials on YouTube and walkthroughs and playthroughs on it. Because I just got so stuck, and often I would go to my parents and ask, how do you do this? And they, they'd have no idea, because they've never played a video game in their lives. So, you know, my parents aren't too much of a gamer, or gamers, so, you know, I kind of wish they were at some times, or at some points. Um, but I think, I think if I were a parent, I would most likely teach my kids how to play video games. Maybe, like, I don't think I would let them go too loose with it. Um, you know, as by this I mean, of course, um, oh, these guys are teaming. Oh, they're not teaming. Perfect. Yes. Oh, my God. If I get to kill this guy, this will be amazing. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Just let him burn. Oh, sh oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I actually won a game. Holy crap. That's the most silent I've gone in a video in such a long time. Holy crap. Usually, I just go silent and, you know, let the guy die while finding him. But, <laughs> oh, my God. I went so silent. That's so embarrassing. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, you know, to conclude, I don't think video games... Teaching your kids how to play video games is a bad thing. Of course, letting them play two, 24 hours a day, that's definitely something I wouldn't do, but... Um, overall, I wouldn't limit my kids to, like, 30 minutes a day, or, like, only play video games on the weekends, because I just don't think that's that's really cool to do as a parent. Uh, but once again, my opinions may change over this, um, on this over time, so... Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. I'm Fan of Wheels, and I will see you guys next time.